morning, evening, noon, and night, everybody out there in TCG land, it's your boy Teddy, back for another Ted's TCG Talks. Today, I went to my local plan trade, went through their singles bin, picked out some pretty, pretty cool items, got some uh, decent gym leaders uh, cards, got some Delta Species, got some base set, nothing too fantastic, nothing in too great a condition, but I mean, definitely stuff that I would not mind paying a dollar for. Um, today, I b uh, bought a bunch of packs, mostly Breakpoint, Breakthrough, uh, I believe we also have some Steam Siege in there, thought we would try our luck with those, and I also had some pretty cool stuff I wanted to talk about in the TCG goings on. As you can see, I bought a bunch of blisters, each of them came with a promo and a coin, really big fan of those, got them for a really great price too. Uh, in addition, I got some uh, 3 for 10 uh, Breakpoint and Breakthrough packs, so without further ado, let's uh, get this started. Now, for the elephant in the room, the thing everybody's been talking about, Roaring Skies reprint. That's right, guys. Roaring Skies reprint. We are literally getting a reprint. I, I don't even know if you would call it a reprint. Maybe reintroduction? I don't know what the hell you call it. We are just getting more Roaring Skies packs. I was on eBay before seeing them uh, pre-sale going for about $100, $110, which is fucking incredible, considering the fact they were around $250, $300 like what like last month really out of control um in addition to that we also got the english translations for a few more ex i'm sorry wow did i say ex i meant gx gx cards specifically the gx drampa and while we haven't gotten palisand we got the english translation for sandy ghast so drampa's attacks are as follows first attack one colorless energy righteous edge does 20 damage and you get to discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active pokemon its next attack berserk does 80 plus damage with three colorless if your bench pokemon has any damage counters on them this attack does 70 more and then it's gx attack one colorless energy great revolution shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw 10 cards pretty outlandish ability if you ask me definitely going to be really really uh convenient in those um overly colorless decks maybe we're going to see it in um the mega raid deck it may be even uh convenient in the rainbow road deck if you need to get need to get a bunch of uh different types of pokemon in your hand at once and you don't want to have to use your supporter definitely worth it now, just because you can use an attack in the TCG doesn't mean you should. Take it from uh, my buddy Tim, who gave me the runaround about that GX card. Using and depending on that one GX attack to do one shuffle and wasting your turn on that more than likely is not going to be good for you. So, I definitely would uh, weigh your options. Definitely see what the set itself offers for you in the way of GXs, GX attacks, and choose your GX wisely. And back to our buddy Sandy Gast. For one colorless energy, you can use Gather Sand. You may attach one fighting energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. For one fighting and two colorless, you can use Sand Tomb for 30 damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Now, I personally love it whenever they have regular, like, in-game attacks as the Pokemon TCG attacks, because there's only a certain amount of attacks you have in the game. You can't really use them over and over and over on the cards. It's gonna get boring. And another thing I wanted to touch base on really quickly before I move on into the non-TCG related sector, look around at your local card shops, local, anything you can find. February 3rd is when the English set of Sun and Moon comes out like we've been all preparing for. And a few weeks prior to most sets that come out nowadays, they have pre-release tournaments. Now, if you guys don't know what pre-release tournaments are, I highly advise you to go check out my Evolutions pre-release tournament video. I will put the link in the description. They are a lot of fun, pretty cheap, and you get to go uh, to the card shop, um, do some tournaments, and meet some really awesome people. Uh, I outsourced, found uh, some other YouTubers, found some really cool friends there. Definitely worth the trip. Now, one last thing I wanted to touch base on before I end here, because I'm running out of packs and you don't want to watch a video with me just rambling in the back. The Nintendo Switch. Everybody is at their wits end with the Nintendo, with the Wii, with the Wii U, and how much they failed and everything like that. They were pissed off at how much money the Wii U still cost, everything like that. And yes, they were pissed off about how little there were around Christmas, but the Nintendo Switch could change all of that. We've gotten word that on tonight, the 12th of January, we're going to be getting news of a new Pokemon game, which is supposed to be the third in the series of Pokemon Sun and Moon, supposed to be called Pokemon Stars. I would be so hyped, because I want to see more of Necrozima, Necrozma, whatever the hell it's called, and I also would love, love, love to see Marshadow. Also, Magearna needs a bigger role in this game. That's just my opinion. Now, the question of the day today is going to be, what are you guys looking forward to most 
if Pokemon Stars comes out. Now, that can be whether you want gyms to come back, that can be Pokemon, that can be trainers that you guys want to battle from previous generations. It can be literally anything. So this has been tons of fun, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Teddy. Feel free to keep watching back for more of my TCG videos. Have a great day.